Hello, this PowerPoint is titled Pathos, a Rhetorical Appeal. Feel free to pause the video to move at your own pace. Our objective and outcome today are to understand pathos and learn how to implement it into our own writing. So what is pathos? Well, pathos is an element of the rhetorical triangle. The triangle below outlines the relationship between a writer's ethos, an audience's pathos, and the logos of the topic. All of these elements are focused around the text, either the one you are reading or the one you are writing. So what does this really mean in non-academic terms? Well, pathos is emotional appeal. Depending on the purpose for writing, a writer can evoke a range of emotions from their audience. So how do the rhetorical experts define pathos? Pathos is appeals to emotion, and it also refers to appeals to the heart and values of the audience. At this point, it's becoming clear that pathos is about emotional connection with audience. But we must be careful when we say emotional. This word tends to connote sadness or pity, but emotion is a much broader term. We'll talk about this on the next slide. Now that we know what pathos is, we need to consider why writers implement it into their writing. Most importantly, pathos helps to enhance the message of the text by connecting with the audience on an emotional level. Think about a time when you were persuaded to do something because of feeling and not because of logic. Look at the clip art characters below. This writer on the left has the opportunity and power to create a range of emotions in his readers. What is he looking to do? We can ask ourselves these questions as we begin to use pathos in our own writing. Reading critically allows us to observe pathos in others' writing. To do this, we must first identify writers' assumptions, two, observe examples, three, assess language choices. Once we observe pathos in others' writing, it becomes easier to implement pathos in our own writing. To do this, we must, one, spend time exploring the belief system of the audience, two, incorporate relevant examples, three, establish an appropriate tone. I hope you enjoy